How's everybody doing today? I'm going to do a quick video on doing double walls and double roofs. Um, I still actually get questions on how to do this, so uh, I will show you how to do um, the, even the trickier ones. So basically for double walls, all you really need is... Uh, it doesn't work with the wood ones. Like it gets weird, it just doesn't like it. But if you use like the barn set or the uh, the warehouse set, you just literally need two foundations and then use two doorways place the first doorway and then you take the second one and just flip it around and place it and i've got buddies but um so that's the basic and then you would just convert to whatever one you want um i kind of like doing the the wood on one side and the, the brick windows on the other and that's so you can get a uh, Shutters that work like kind of still corn. What is with these guys? Jeez, rude. Do we have any more? Yeah, you attack my possums. That's not nice, rude. All right, now regular walls pretty easy. Half walls are a different story. The only way I'm aware of at the moment to do half wall stack is with brick. So if you don't have brick, I'm sorry. You take your brick wall and then you will burn it. You'll need to get the uh, flamethrower and to get the flamethrower um, trap recipe, you just go do the Abbey's Bunker quest and then you just burn the wall. And once it's broken, you can stack the second one. And if you need to go up with it, like to the next layer, like if you wanted to do um, like a two-tone, like if you want to do a two-tone wall with wallpapers, that's kind of the reason to double stack like half ones is so you can have, let's say you wanted the brick bottom and then a painted top. Adds a little bit of flavor to a room or a wall. Um, and that's how you would do that. But um, to double stack, you'll need to place your flamethrower onto uh, a shelf or anything that it'll actually stack on. Um, I like this shelf. And then you activate it. You don't need to power it. Unless you want to do a whole bunch of burning. Like, let's say you're doing a whole, like, upper perimeter wall. How I do that generally is I will take a, um, like, the tall uh, thing there. And I will take a little generator, because it only takes just regular power. And then I will take... The, the reason for this is you would power your switch, switch to the big thing, and then to your generator. And this way you can actually move this around all around the room and then just walk onto the button. Move your shelf. Walk on the button. And that's how I do a big space. Like if I need to like burn all the way around a perimeter wall. And then you can just add another shelf if you need a taller. And that's how I do... Um like a big space like to double wall them and the nice thing is with your tall connector here you can move it all around and it's going to reach no problem so you can use a shorter one if you want but that's just how i do it and um same idea for the angled walls you will sometimes you can get away with burning them sometimes you can't um i like sometimes it just doesn't work so you would burn it i 
and then you can double stack up your angled walls. And it's pretty much the same process for most of them. But like I said, sometimes these angles will just work. Like if you place them fast enough. Uh, let's do... Yeah, just like, like you just burn that. I think the still need only works on the brick ones. We'll test it. Hear that. Yeah, it kind of only likes the brick one. So, like using the brick makes it easier. And then for ceilings, it's pretty much the same process if you want to double stack roofs. Um, and I do this a lot in a lot of my builds, mainly because I like a, a exterior roof to be tall, like an angled roof or any of them. Um, but I don't like that on the inside because it just kind of looks like it's, it's a lot to fill. So... What I'll do is you place your your tall roof first, and then you you burn it. Um, I usually do this from the top, but since I already have this here, I'll just use it. And then once it's burned, it will let you place the. Uh, the lower roof. Uh, it's going to be dumb because I have this wall here. Oh, are you being silly? I think it's just the space that I have here. I oh, will extend this. Come here. There you go. And then, like I said, if I didn't have this other structure here, it wouldn't be a problem. And I'll put my other wall back here. The only reason why it's fighting with me is uh, actually it's fighting me because of these poles. Um, but uh, the main reason for doing double stack roofs, if you've seen any of my other builds, you know that I end up hiding a lot of power, like generators and stuff under the roof and doing all my powering so you can place your like if you're not going to use your vendors or all that stuff you would just place your generator in there and then a couple power connectors and then you can hide all this under the roof and then you won't see it but um I hope that helps. And another thing, if you do a, a even higher roof, like you wanted to do a double height roof, you can fit the big generator in there because there will be plenty enough space to do that once you have a... But you get the idea, like the roof would be physically tall enough to hide that. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, and if you have any other questions or you want to see how to do something else, definitely don't hesitate to, to put it in the comments. But uh, thanks for my channel members. And I will catch you guys next time. Later.